Webster waits for a cutter and then took it himself. Marvin was surprised. He turned around and looked and said, where's Dan? He couldn't realize that Dan's playing on him all afternoon. Difference with Seattle today, though, is it's not a one-man offensive show as it was Friday. All Webster. Thompson in a little bit shorter and still off. Now Dennis Johnson trying to keep control. He's down. And a two-shot foul backcourt. David Thompson reaching in on Dennis Johnson. See the play right there. Good hands that time by Hillman. The ball's rolling free. He tries to get it. Can't get out of the way. Johnson on the floor. David in his effort right there. You see him whack him a couple times trying to get the ball. David a little over aggressive in that situation. Didn't have a good shot at the ball and could have just swarmed over the top of him and perhaps got a jump ball situation. Only a pair reaching. of fouls against Thompson in the game, so he's certainly not in any jeopardy. 93-91, Sonics. Johnson trying to increase it, does. Seven minutes and 30 seconds left in Denver. Game two. Thompson, out of way from the basket again. Now he glides in and goes to Hillman. Hillman shot and Issel again. Two big offensive rebounds by Danny Issel. Can't give him enough credit, Brent. Playing a super basketball game out here. Sekma puts it down on Jones. Comes up on Issel. It'll go. That's the kind he made against Portland in that crucial game up in Seattle, game number four, I believe it was. The balls bounced around and fell in the hoop. Six minutes and 40 seconds. You can see the shot clock there in the right-hand corner. Thompson goes one-on-one -on -one as they clear out. Goaltending. Webster coming across, and that goaltending gives the Nuggets a lead. Watch the play here. Good defense. Johnson there. Silas over to help out. Make him take a tough shot. Marvin too close to the hoop. Bad judgment on his part. Last two times. Sonics are still ahead by one point. They were ahead by three. Now Brown goes back up to make it three again. So it is still Seattle, 98-95 and 622. Here you see Freddie getting by his man, Wilkerson overcommitted, he comes in, a typical Freddie Brown move. A little double cl clutch action, moved it to the side. Lucky he didn't get called for that left arm, John pushing off. Well, he had a little help there by moving the man out of the way. So we, we got, got 622 five left. fouls now on Darnell Hillman, and a timeout in Denver. America, if you've got a taste for value like you've got a taste for apple pie, you've got to love Chevrolet's all-new mid-size Malibu. It's got more headroom, more legroom, more usable trunk room, and better mileage estimates. To top it all off, it's got a beautiful trim new body by Fisher and Chevy value through and through. The all-new mid-size Malibu. You're going to eat it up. 100 miles from nowhere, you prospect for black gold, punching holes in the seafloor, knowing that more often than not, you'll come up empty. But you take the gamble anyway and give it everything you've got. Now comes Miller time. Time to head for shore and the best tasting beer you can find. Miller High Life. If you've got the time, we've got the beer, Miller Beer. This is the world's most revolutionary telephone switching invention. We call it Super Switcher. It handles four times more calls and may save us a billion dollars a year. Just imagine that each of these cars is a long distance call. Super Switcher could handle five days traffic on a busy LA freeway. That ought to prevent traffic jams on your long distance calls. Bell System Technology, keeping your phone system the best in the world. Next Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern, CBS Sports presents live coverage of the Colonial National Invitation from Fort Worth, Texas. That's next Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern. Well, there's Larry Brown with his back to you, just now turning around, hand up at his face. Very secure here is the...